Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair, and welcome to the Circle of Excellence. The 100 Day Challenge is a global community of like-minded people, all dedicated to a common purpose, and that is creating lives of excellence. And I'd like you to look at the 100 Day Challenge as a global circle of excellence. So let's begin this section by posing a very simple question. Why should you choose excellence? Well, the answer is very simple. The pursuit of excellence is not only politically correct, it's also highly profitable. See, excellence is a form of currency, and a genuine commitment to excellence can and will help you to capture true wealth and realize the inherent value of your potential. While a lack of commitment can devalue potential, credibility, and reputation. See, each of us must determine the specific achievements that we must accomplish in order to deem our own lives excellent. And your responsibilities in doing this include choosing a career path, deciding what to and what not to believe in, what to learn and apply in life, and what actions you need to take on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can help yourself with these responsibilities by consistently asking yourself this one simple question. How are your thoughts and your actions reflective of a life committed to excellence? See, to ensure maximum value from the 100 Day Challenge, you must commit not only to your own personal achievement, but also to inspire, to promote and to celebrate excellence with everyone inside the circle of excellence. So the following plan will show you how to start on your own path. It's what I call the alpha to omega approach. See, excellence is a quality, it's a standard and the expected norm of our community. And it's best represented by the words alpha to omega. From beginning to end, from first to last and from start to finish, it's excellence always. So let's talk about alpha. Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. And in our world, meaning in the circle of excellence, it has come to signify a beginning. That is the first step on the path to any goal. Alpha may be a plan, an action, or an intention, but without it, one can never reach any goal. Omega, on the other hand, is the 24th and the last letter of the Greek alphabet. And reaching Omega means that you've gone through all the steps and that you've reached your goal. You've accomplished what you set out to do and you've demonstrated excellence throughout the entire journey. But in the circle of excellence, Omega does not mean the end. See, the reaching of one goal frees you to set another, much more challenging goal. So while Omega marks an accomplishment, it is also the link between accomplishing one thing and setting a new challenge. It is the link that completes and expands the circle of ever-increasing success and excellence in your life. So here's another question, who's in your circle? See, besides plans and goals, we all have other circles in our lives. We all belong to circles of people, some we don't choose and some we do. Our families, our neighbors, our schoolmates, and the people that we work with are circles not of our own choosing. On the other hand, our friends, our loved ones, our trusted colleagues, and our dependable advisors comprise the people that we have chosen to be in our lives. Both types of circles always exist, but we can expand and contract them as our needs and each circle's contribution towards meeting our goals change. So you've chosen to join the 100 Day Challenge become part of a global circle of excellence. Why? Because it's a community of people who are dedicated to living a life of excellence. So let's talk about excellence itself. How do you define it? What exactly is it? Well, I want you to think of excellence as the process of continually growing and improving yourself and your life. Excellence entails achievement and accomplishing goals that can be measured by constantly asking yourself one more question. Is what I'm doing truly reflective of a life committed to excellence? Now without a doubt, your greatest responsibility in seeking excellence is to define precisely what it means in your life and then to choose the absolute best course of action in order to make it happen. See, excellence is not a relative term but it is the standard by which you must judge every single thing that you do in your life. And you'll quickly discover that by committing yourself to a life of excellence, that it cannot be accomplished haphazardly. Excellence never occurs by accident. It is always, and I emphasize, always comes as a result of quality thinking and purposeful, ongoing, consistent execution. To become the person you were meant to be, everything you do must be done with the single purpose of achieving excellence. You must do it with the unshakable belief and understanding that excellence in every manner counts. You must live and die in the spirit of excellence and quality. 
and the measurement of your best begins and ends with a mark of excellence and nothing else. So you may be asking, why should you actively participate in this circle of excellence? Again, very simple. Because a circle is infinite, and repeating the three steps of the circle, in this case, to inspire, to promote, and to celebrate excellence, it will lead you to ever higher accomplishments. So let's talk about inspiring. So your personal goal and that of the entire 100 Day Challenge community is first to inspire. It is the first arc in the circle of excellence. And by always setting the highest standards for each one of your goals, you will inspire others to believe in you. You'll also become a beacon that shows those around you that striving for excellence in all your endeavors is indeed a noble ideal. So now let's talk about promoting excellence. See, the second arc in the circle of excellence is to promote the goal of excellence for yourself and for those around you. See, no matter how high your standards or how often you meet those standards, you are not living a life of excellence if you do not bring others along with you. Therefore, you must actively advocate for the practice of virtue, dedication, reason, and integrity in the pursuit of excellence. Now let's talk about celebrating. See, the final arc that completes a circle of excellence is to celebrate excellence. Now you can inspire others and promote excellence only if others see what having high standards can bring to their lives. And why should you care if other people strive for excellence? Why should it matter? Will they not become your competitors? Not a chance. They will actually become your inspiration. See, some people perpetually create their own dissatisfaction by consistently slipping into mediocrity. This can be easily fixed right now by simply deciding to quit doing less than excellent work. Now to me, that's a pretty profound idea. See, mediocrity is a choice. It's not always made consciously, but it is still a choice and you commit career malpractice every time you do things in a mediocre manner, every time you show up late, every time you are unprepared. See, there's absolutely no inherent value in mediocrity. There's no reason for people to stop, to pay attention. There's absolutely no bragging rights associated with it. So choose never to compromise your talent, quality, and high standards, and you will never choose mediocrity. Being world class has nothing to do with size, education, or bloodline, but it does have everything to do with decision, with commitment, action, and persistence. Excellence is a destination for anyone who appreciates, who respects, and demonstrates hard work and good judgment. But excellence is not something that you attain and then put in a trophy case. It's actually a habit. It's a momentary happening, a crossroad, where the body, the mind, and the spirit all come together. Excellence requires that a price be paid. And whatever you're willing to pay and sweat to find it and keep it in good working order is the price. See, those who have legitimately reached the summit of their careers, their relationships and gamesmanship have worked harder and longer. They've studied and planned more assiduously. They've practiced more self-denial and they have overcome more difficulties than those who have not risen as far. And the best part is that you can become excellent in a second, beginning right now now. You start by visualizing yourself as the best teacher, the best artist, the best manager, coach, or parent that you aspire to become. And then what you do is you start acting the part. See, we all have a range of career choices and opportunities, but we expand the range and the quality of those choices when we practice excellence. Adversely, we blackball ourselves from future opportunities when we do mediocre work. Therefore, Attempt to make every single opportunity one of importance, simply because every opportunity counts. See, what is considered excellent today will become the minimum cost of admission for tomorrow. You and I are only as good as our last performance. The bar is constantly being raised, and if you don't produce excellent results consistently, I promise you that someone else will. See, there's absolutely no grace period for mediocrity, and you and I must have a zero tolerance policy for it. People expect the best and if they can't get it from you, they will certainly find it elsewhere. And the reality of life is that most people are not hard acts to follow. And that's exactly why a commitment to excellence is the ultimate competitive advantage. Also, another side of excellence, it truly is a guilty pleasure as it's respected and admired and serves as a triumphant accomplishment of those unwilling to accept anything less than their absolute best. Excellence is achieved via qualitative, not quantitative shifts in developing skills. 
So by participating in the circle of excellence, you have chosen to become part of a qualitatively different world where excellence is expected and practiced by each person within the circle. Now let me share with you the seven guiding principles. These are the principles that drive the entire 100 day challenge. They serve as the building blocks in starting and sustaining the construction of your ideal future. So number one, you must always live a virtuous life. See, it is not enough to just live, but you must live with nobility and honor in order to truly live a good life. Principle number two, you must always act to inspire, to promote and celebrate excellence in yourself and in others. Principle number three, you must always choose your actions based on good reasons and good reasoning, not out of fear, not out of self-interest or other short-term considerations that compromise long-term opportunities. The fourth principle in a circle of excellence, you must always seek out the truth and live with it, even if that truth is unpopular or uncomfortable. And number five, you must always rely on principles that stand the test of time and changes in circumstances. And the conclusions that you draw from them must be ones to which you can be constantly faithful. Number six, you must always do the right thing and never do wrong willingly, even when others have wronged you. And finally, the seventh principle in this plan, you must always keep your promises. You must honor your commitments, provided that they are just. See, by mastering one principle, one day at a time, you will build a stairway to higher and higher attainment. And your stairway will be strong because you've concentrated on one thing, one issue at a time. So now that you join the circle of excellence, the next thing we're gonna do is start you on an accelerated goal setting plan that will help you to move forward. And I mean forward fast. You'll use your own skills, knowledge, determination to set a course for excellence and to help your fellow members to attain their goals as well. So what to expect? What can you expect from this? Well, it's very simple. The Circle of Excellence program is a practical, results-focused program that brings together the success secrets of high performers from all walks of life. In the form and throughout the 100-day challenge, you'll have access to a collective mastermind where you'll be able to leverage the knowledge, the attitudes, skills, and habits of others that will give you the ability to realize your vision, to grow your confidence, to focus in on your core strengths, and most importantly, to create and communicate increasing value in a fast-changing world. And your active participation and willingness to constantly raise the bar will lead you to constantly hire goals through content-rich lessons and a supportive online community that is all focused on excellence and playing at the top of their game. Now again, I want to welcome you to the 100 Day Start Fast Finish Strong Challenge. And I trust that you're looking forward to a great ride and an unforgettable experience.